Good morning, you beautiful people. Hello, how's it going? What's going on? Oh, yes. All of the things are being for sure. We're going to do some stuff. We're going to do some things today. And in the process, we're going to figure out some stuff as well and hopefully get some things on the road. So what I want to do, first and foremost, is take a look at what we got going. Oh, I love that so much. That looks so good. It, it's so simple, but I assure you it is of the utmost necessary. We are going to need so much stone to replace the rest of that, though. So I feel today will be as good of a day as any to get that done. To get it working at least, and we'll do our absolute best. See if we can make that a reality. First and foremost, though, let us get rid of all of our things that we're not going to use. Oh, yes. Iron golems are burning. That is fantastic news, as always. Perfect. All right, let's move all of this. The gravel we don't need. We don't need that. Let's put all of our stone away. Our leads, sure. Beautiful. All right, we don't have too, too much. But we have enough, I think. So let's just take a stack of sticks. That should be probably good. Let's head out. We need a lot of resources here, okay? We need them because uh, we need a lot of rocks here to make this thing look even close to what I'm envisioning it to be. So I think that first and foremost, we should, uh, we should do that. It's been a while. We need it. We're going to need more stone anyway to finish off this particular project. If I could just get out of here. Perfect. All right. Let us run down the coast here and see if we can go find ourselves our cave so we can get some tough, so we can get some black stone if possible. We need tons of cobble, which we'll need to smelt in the coal. And we'll also need some coal so that we can smelt all of our things you know uh, is that it no it's a little bit further here and then we should have arrived at our destination so that's a fantastic news hello B can't wait to have you over in my base that's gonna be so cool All right, this is where we're going down right here and we go suprone there we go I really like this. It's pretty. Whoops-a-doodle. Alright, let's just hop down all the way here and see what we can do. We, obviously, we need the tough. We need... Uh, we need many things, honestly. Uh, including, but not limited to, this coal right frickin' here. We're, we might have to make some charcoal as well, because uh, we just simply do not have enough. How does one get down? Oh my god. Do not. Where is it? It's over here. Aha. Beautiful. I remember that. Uh, let's see. So if we do something like that, then we should be good to go. And hello, creeper. You're dead. All right, let's torch that up so that we do not have to worry about it too, too much here. And we are going to slay you as well. Ooh, look at that. That double crit juiciness. Ooh, baby. So we need to spend a little bit of time here collecting, uh, bl uh, not blackstone, I keep saying blackstone, deep slate. We need to collect a lot of that, and also we need to collect some stone, we need to collect some tough, 
We need just about every type of rock material here because without it, we are not able to do the things we want to do. We'll also make sure that we're doing or we're collecting our redstone as we do it. Oh, and I will definitely take some diamonds as well. I, we're not at the point yet where we are just going to throw those into lava. Uh, at the moment, it is uh, sufficient. We'll use it for something, and it will be glorious. Honestly, we will probably make a jukebox out of it, and maybe a diamond shovel, and that'll be the extent of the diamonds that we really need, because what we'll end up doing is simply purchasing our tools from uh, the villagers. So, it's really not a big deal to obtain diamonds. Obviously, we did get our first one a few episodes, which is a big deal because, you know, episode 120-something and uh, diamonds, first diamond, that's, that's pretty impressive, honestly. In terms of just how bad or how slow we seem to be moving here, it's pretty bad. Uh, let's see, I would like... Uh, five stacks of the deep slate, though, I think, to start out here. Once we get five stacks of deep slate, I think we'll go and grab five-ish stacks of tough. And then I would also love to have between five and ten stacks of the cobbly goodness. So, this may take us a little bit of time today, because we need the resources and, uh, you know... We do not have a beacon, even if we did, though, we could not instant mine this stuff, obviously. Hello. We got a carrot. Beautiful. Oh, hello. If there's a spawner up there, or if it's just a natural zombie spawn, I have no idea. I have to figure that out, see what is going. Let's see, we got we need one more stack here of this beautiful, beautiful block here. And I do feel like we should honestly grab a one more as well, just because I know that I want to use this. And I want to use a lot freaking of it. So it's probably better just to grind out a little bit for an episode or two and see what we can do in terms of our blocks here. And that also gives us a lot more freedom. To build the things that we want to build when we want to build them. And that is uh, it's pretty fantastic, actually. So, let's do that, actually. Let's grab six. I think that'll be enough for just a little bit. And while we're doing this... Just, uh... I, I have so many plans for this world that I've been thinking about, that I've been dreaming about I haven't planned any of it obviously but I just have so many ideas for Alita's Bend and I've never seen a biome quite like this before like obviously it's a lot of trees and farms and stuff like that which definitely has been done however the marshiness I think is what is making me really excited about this area I guess we'll take that right uh, no, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Perfect. So we got our, our deep slate here. All right. Well, we'll just hold on for one more, I guess. And let's get a bunch of the tough because we used all the tough that we had. So that is obviously not something that we're aiming to do. But... All gonna be good. I'd love to give you guys a date as to like when we are going to start the next project. But the truth of the matter is because every project is going to be connected in this world, I have no earthly idea. I know that I want to start doing a custom cherry forest as well so that we could have a little village and i think i'm not certain but i think that's where we're going to end up transporting our villagers to the ones that are not used for the iron golem farm anyway and i would love to have them just live in a little tiny cherry 
blossom forest that we custom make, obviously. And I think it would look really, really good. Plus, it would give me an excuse to build with that block, and I, I love that block. It looks so freaking good. So, so, so good. Alright, so I don't know uh, what we are going to do, but I know we need all of this. But I have intentions of kind of having areas for just about everything. So I want an area for villagers, and I want, you know, little farms and stuff like that. But I want everything we build to have some kind of purpose, some kind of utilization that we can do with it. And I think it'll be really, really cool if we do a bunch of little bases that are connected together, rather than one gigantor mega base. Because... Let's face it, I love starting new projects. It's one of my favorite things to do in this game. I absolutely adore it. And in general, in, in real life as well, love it. There's something about starting a new project that just gives me the tinglies, and it's amazing. Truly amazing. And I am very excited to start a something new again. And so we're going to be pushing here, all right? We're going to try to do some of our grind episodes. Try to knock out a few in a row so that we can get all the materials we need, hopefully. So we don't have to, you know, grind, get materials, grind, get materials, and then go back to building, yada, yada, yada. What I would like to do is just grind out for a few days at a time. And hopefully get everything we could ever need. Or at least to finish the first part of the base. Anyway. So, I think that is what we're going to start doing. We're going to have to really focus on it. And I can't guarantee it, obviously. Because I have a super ADHD and I get very easily distracted. So I can't say for sure that that's what we're going to do, getting the grind on or anything like that. But I can say with utmost confidence that the more resources we get now up front, the easier it will be to build and the longer building sessions we will be able to have. So... I think that is the plan at the moment, and uh, yeah, we're just going to mine up in this until our heart's content, and it will be a, probably a few shorter episodes of me mining here, because no one wants to sit back and watch me mine and ramble on like a lunatic, I'm, I'm pretty sure anyway. So we'll see how it goes, but I know for sure that it has to be done, because... Without it, we cannot do the big builds that I would love to do. Right, so I think that is enough of the tough, enough of the gravel, and enough deep slate at the moment. Obviously, still not a whole lot, but it is a pretty decent amount, I think. Uh, let's get all the rest of the tough, I suppose. And I think we have an unfinished stack as well of uh, the deep slate, so we'll need to mine that. But, yeah. I, I think really very soon we need to do ourselves our first edited video. I keep saying it and I keep putting it off. But I think I need to just live stream for a few hours and pump out as many materials as I can. Just listening to music and... All of that, and then maybe just speed it up just so you guys can see. Oh, look at that. He gathered a crap ton of resources, you know? Something nice and easy, anyway. All right, let's fill up our inventory here on uh, the deep slate, and then we are able to head back up and drop all this stuff off. Obviously, we do not have shulker boxes yet, so... 
the process of transporting items is very, very slow. And that is okay. We'll, we'll make do. But very soon we should probably consider going and raiding some end cities as well. Killing the dragon and all of that fun stuff. Because, let's be honest. It is quite a pain in the butt watching me walk from place to place. When we could simply fly. But... Obviously, that is a little bit ways away because we gotta go get the nether and we gotta go get ender pearls and we gotta get blaze rods and we gotta go find the stronghold and you know, all the things that go into making it and then killing the dragon and so many little, little tasks to do. But we should probably work towards that as well very, very soon because I can't even begin to tell you how great it would be for me. To have an elytra. Alright. Perfect. Good, good, good. Let's see here. Got ourselves a little bit of stuff. Uh, how does one get out of here? Mm, was it this way? It's got to be this way, right? No. Oh, it's right here. Duh. Perfect. Now it's perfect. All right. Now we have an actual way to get out of here. That's a mizen. And we can head our silly self all the way back up to the surface. Because we need to drop off some stuff. We have an absolute butt ton of resources here, which really uh, we don't, because uh, it's going to go so, so quick. Just wait and see. But at least we have a decent head start, even if we did not get any stone. Got a decent head start. And then next time, maybe we can just focus on the stone. And that way we'll be able to continue our path of righteousness very very quickly but that's gonna do it for me today thanks so much for watching until next time ciao